Hey there, welcome to this episode, and today we are looking at the external source button and using our line inputs, whether they're at the back or at the front here, to record some audio into the SP404 Mark II. Now, of course, whatever device you want to record into, whether it be a guitar, a microphone, a turntable, you can do any of those things. And at the front here, the inputs are kind of designed for like a microphone or a guitar. I'm using an iPhone as an example, simply because I don't have a microphone with that kind of attachment or a guitar or an instrument at hand that I can kind of show you. So I'm just going to be playing using this. And the first thing I want to talk about is the external source button itself. You'll see at the moment it's not turned on. If I turn it on like this, turn it off. When I play some audio, and I'm just playing something from my iPhone here just so that we've got some audio coming through, you will notice you can't hear anything. You'll only hear something when you enable the external source button. And there you can hear our input signal like coming through. Now, on this example, it's not the best because of course it's not either, you know, a microphone or a guitar or an instrument. I've got it currently set on guitar because I feel like that lets through like a little bit more bass. When I had it on the mic switch here at the front, it was very tinny. So keep that in mind. If you're doing something similar for whatever reason, you want to try and record through the front line input. Um, maybe switch it over to guitar if you're looking to get like more bass frequencies in here and a bit of a better sound. Of course, we've got a gain knob here, so we can increase the level and the volume of that input signal. And the thing that's interesting with the SP404 Mark II is that it uses its external source button as the meter for the volume that is coming into the unit. Now, why they didn't just make it a, you know, like a display thing here, so you've just got a little display meter, you could see it more clearly. It's a little bit vague on here, and essentially what happens, if I turn this back on again, won't have any sound because I've just stopped the playback. When we increase our volume, and I'm going to try and do it with the gain knob here, I'm hoping it's going to work and show like as a demonstration. When the signal is too hot and too loud, this button suddenly becomes red. So it's okay, it gives you some idea that you're not like clipping out inside of here, but a little volume meter would have been better. Anyway, let me demonstrate that. I'm going to play this and just crank it up a little bit. Watch to see when the input signal is too loud. This should turn red. Now, you could see that there, hopefully, as I drive up the input signal, it becomes too loud. So essentially, it's giving me a little bit of a warning that that's, you know, quite a loud signal coming in. I believe it maybe goes through a couple of shades of orange before it hits red. Either way, I think it's a little bit vague. But whether you're using your line input at the front here or you're recording in from the back, and I've got a turntable set up just so that I can show it recording from the, you know, the back end of the device. It works in exactly the same way. The external source needs to be turned on in order to hear the external source. And if you bring in too much input volume from any device that you've got plugged in, this is gonna turn red to let you know that it's getting a bit on the loud side. To be honest, I've recorded a few things in, even when this is kind of clipping a little bit red from time to time, it hasn't really given me too much of a distorted uh, like wave file that it's recorded in. So you can experiment with that yourself and see what you want. Now on the back, of course, our line inputs don't have any volume control. So you're reliant upon whatever device you've got plugged in. And essentially, although it's off camera, I have a you know DJ mixer with my turntable connected and the outputs from the DJ mixer are coming in through my line inputs into the back of the device. So with external source on, I'm just gonna play a little bit of uh, vinyl here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to crank the volume a little bit more on this just so again you can see this kind of clipping mode. It'll let me know if the signal's too hot. And hopefully you could see that light up there. So, as I said, whether it's coming in through the back, coming in through the front here, whichever input you're using to bring sounds, instruments, whatever, into the SP404 Mark II, you're going to rely on your external source button, one, for the monitoring, so that you can actually hear that incoming signal, and two, 
watch out for the red clipping on the pad because that is the indication that you are bringing in a too loud a signal it's too hot and you might get some distortion so that is essentially the external source button here there are other ways to record via USB-C I'm going to do that in another episode for you guys so take care and I'll see you then